fantastic. So cute. They danced to our little Jamaica dance. That is so cute. All right, so according to a recent survey, over 47 million pet owners sleep in bed with their dogs or their cats. Now, while it's hard to resist being close to our pets, there are a few things to consider before we let them in bed with us. And here to teach us how to set the necessary bedroom boundaries is the fairy dog mother, Laura Hi. Nativo. So welcome, Laura. Hello. I see you already have your pups on our bed. <laughs> I do. Uh, I do. Which bothers you a little bit, but for purposes they of all demonstration. They had a bath right? before yeah. last night, yeah. and we came straight from our bed to yours, so we're happy oh. to be here. I see that. Well, you know, uh, yesterday one of our uh, viewers, Jerry Summerfield, wrote on our Facebook page that she likes to sleep with her dogs because she says that she likes to hear her dogs uh, snoring, her dog snoring, because it actually helps her sleep. Absolutely. A lot of people, I mean, my dog Winston here is crying because he's excited. A lot of dogs snore, and there's something about having that regular comfort of your pet at night where it can make you more calm, it can help lower your blood pressure, it can help with your heart rate. And so for a lot of people, I think there's there's just a sense of safety and, and happiness that comes from having your pet in bed with you. And for some people like myself, who are single, um, or for the elderly, it can actually help you feel safer at night because you know that if your dogs are sleeping calmly, all is well in the world because do you sleep dogs with are the them? first to wake you up. you sleep with all three of them? I do. And yeah, they don't right? keep you up at all, move around? <laughs> yeah, see, I have big, Fat oh. Freddy, I'm just gonna go call him what he is. He's big Fat <laughs> Freddy, he's a big golden. And you know, like he rarely gets in bed, but he will, and he's so hot. And he lays there and he's, a, and I, I can't sleep. So it's disturbing my sleep oh, cycle right. as well. Well, that's very common. A lot of people that have sleep disorders or insomnia, um, half of the ones with pets attribute it to their animals. So I think there's a lot of con considerations to take into uh, you know consideration when you're deciding whether or not to sleep with your pet and obviously the smaller the animal the easier it is to you know maneuver your way around their bed now when people <laughs> have uh, asthma or allergies they probably should not be sleeping with their dogs Definitely. It depends on how extreme your asthma or allergies mm -hmm. are, but with cats, for example, um, once they feel like an area is their home and territory, it's difficult to get them out of it. So I would suggest if you're a cat person and you do have very bad allergies, to keep your door shut. With dogs, there's certain ways we can train them to go to their crate or to get off and lay in their own bed. So it's all about creating boundaries and teaching your dogs or cats that it's a privilege to sleep in your bed, not a right. Well, you know, I have, because I have a phobia, I have this cleaning thingy phobia, and I worry about getting like mites and parasites, and especially fleas get in your bed. When you have, no matter how much you love them, they still have to go outside to go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. and they can pick up all kinds of weird things. So. I need help. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm a total clean freak. And so I always suggest if you have an indoor outdoor animal to make sure that you have something like nice little wipes for their feet and, and you know, body I, parts. I, when they come in, I wash everything. All the bits. And I wash their little private parts and everything <laughs> just because if they're going to jump on my furniture in the bed, I got to clean them all. Absolutely. Well, it's all about good hygiene for both us and our animals. Sure. So proper um, bathing, brushing your dogs and cats teeth, um, just mm -hmm. to keep them more sanitary if you're allowing them into your space. Okay, so what about those who uh, are I know, they're just adorable. <laughs> I'm so competing with this right now because I keep looking at them going, I want to stay on focus here with this. So what if we have somebody in our family who has, they sleep with a dog, we're trying to get them out of that. Maybe it's an elderly person who is so used to it, but we was like, let's, you know what, it's disrupting your sleep. Mm -hmm. Is there a way we can get the dogs to not do that or? How do we retrain them not to Absolutely. Go on I actually just had surgery. And so for me, even I've been letting my dogs sleep with me their entire lives. But when I was recovering from a surgery, I couldn't have them in the bed with me. So one thing that you can teach, and Penelope will demonstrate, you can either use um, food or you can use a steak, a toy, or you can use a dog toy that looks like food. So Penelope, come around. What's that? What's that? Ready? Ready? Set off. Yes. Good girl. So for dogs that are younger or bigger and healthy that don't have any joint issues, mm -hmm. you can teach them using food or treat to lure them on and off the bed. So Penelope, Miss P, ready? Go hop up, hop up, yes. Okay, Miss P, off, off, yes, wow. there you go. So how do you teach mm -hmm. them to use steak. the stairs? So the stairs are for dogs. Uh, Preston right here, he has luxating patellas and he also has arthritis in his neck. Aww. So for any, any pets, hey Preston, come here buddy. Come here, can we do a little demo? 
He's like, I'll do anything <laughs> for food. Come, come, let's go hop up the stairs. Hop up the stairs. Yes, very good. So all I'm doing is using food as a lure. In the very beginning, you can actually start by just placing the treats on the, on the steps. And so Preston's gonna eventually, there you go. Good boy. Okay, walk down, walk down. Good boy. So he just saw these stairs. He's never used these before. And so you can use food as a lure to get them on and off. And if you do it regularly, they'll start to learn that this is the best way to go up and down off the stairs because they're going to be rewarded. Now you have a little gadget here that I found fascinating that you used before. It was called a... Um what is that little? It thing is made called? by Pet Safe. It's okay. a remote treat dispenser. This thing a is treat awesome. Treat dispenser. Okay. So, if you want to send your dogs to any location, whether um, you're trying to get them away from the door when someone's coming coming to your house, if you want to get them out of your bedroom, this is fantastic. Could you show it how, show Ready? Us how it works? Okay. Who wants some num nums? Ready? Outside. There we go. Look. Oh, Winston's got it. Press. Go get it. What's over there? <laughs> What's over there? Go get your num nums. Look, your num nums. It's a magical num num dispenser. So my dogs, we just got this. It's an awesome invention, oh, and so it's nice. a really good remote way. You could be in bed with your little remote control and send your pets outside of the room. <laughs> That's Look at go. If pet, you want pet. more information on Laura Nativo's pet training tips, you can visit our website at hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family or follow Laura on Twitter. <laughs> I when I do that. At lauranativo.com. Thank you so much. Thanks Laura. for having Thank you. me. Thank you. We're going to go into the kitchen for some little chicken pot pie. Those are num num chips. I was also too. Can the dogs I, come yeah, too? Yeah, they're they so excited. Before we jump to break, <laughs> I want to say that I misspoke. I think on the date, the contest actually runs through today. Today, today it ends tonight at midnight, yes. uh, which what, is num -nums? the 20th. One so I, my apologies, but I was thinking about that halfway through the second one. I said the wrong date. Okay, anyway, we're heading to the kitchen to cook speak, a little bit. Speak. Are you we'll be excited? right back. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Let's go do that. Yeah. Let's go.